Hey there golfers, I'm Drew Maholder, Second Swing Golf. I'm joined by Michael Geiger, Second Swing team member. He does jack of all trades for Second Swing. Sure. So um, we're outside today on the driving range in the shade because it is like 100 degrees outside and we're trying to stay cool and also keep our equipment cool as well. So uh, Michael, in your hand, you've got actually my grandpa's old right. Ping I-2 five wood. Um, I have never hit this thing before. Uh, I can't imagine it's going to be a, a rocket launcher like the Fairy Woods today, but we're going to hit some shots with it. We're just going to see what Trackman tells us about this five wood. Uh, so, Michael, you've got it in your hand. I just want you to give me what you your your kind of feedback on the way it looks. Absolutely. Um, anything you have, I know it's kind of funny. Like first thing I noticed too, you got this. It says, "What is this? A heel toe balance?" That's so right. They were ahead of their time with That's the right, heel Drew. toe weighting, the per perimeter weighting that we hear about today in all the clubs. It existed back in the persimmon times. Absolutely. Well, first off, it's an honor to hold. I'm a hold family relic. <laughs> uh, it's it's uh, you know I can barely contain myself. But no, the the Ping I2. This is really it's really a neat club. I'm I'm really excited to see mm -hmm. uh, what kind of numbers it generates. Uh, it says it's a five wood. Mm -hmm. uh, we've both hinted at uh, it, it. Sort of feels closer to a seven wood in yeah. today's lofts. Uh, so we'll probably see some pretty mm -hmm. some pretty high launches. Yeah, for sure. And I, I will also encourage any of our viewers who are seeing this and might know some more information about the year and the model and anything else about this club, by all means. Uh, this was just something that was in my grandpa's garage. So we're going to test it out, see what Trackman tells us. But um, I mean, we've hit some clubs today a little bit. Michael did some testing already. Now I've got this, it might be a little bit different. So you ready to take on the challenge? We're going back to the future, Drew. Let's do it. <laughs> This reminds me of the movie, uh, the greatest game ever played. Absolutely. This Those is uh, old hickory stick clubs. Yeah. Now we got steel. This is this is modern stuff back in the day when steel shafts came out. That was yeah. a big deal. No, I feel like Shia LaBeouf right now, and <laughs> those divots look like Shia LaBeouf yeah. today. Yeah. Yeah, it's true. Oh, that one was crisp. Yeah. Look at that. Straight as an arrow. Wow. You think you could ever generate a one four nine smash factor with a persimmon wood? Drew, I'm I'm thrilled to hear that. <laughs> Let's try and do it again. another one. One, four, eight. All right, so the, you'll hit one more shot here, then okay. I'm gonna kind of let you guess. I'm gonna have you guess okay. your average distance. What okay. do you think it is? Because I know you haven't hit all of them perfect. You yes. hit one really good, Very so correct. we'll see. Okay. Wow. Okay, so if we're, we're pretending it's basically a seven wood, mm -hmm. which I would in theory hit about 230, I'm going to take about 10% off. So we're talking about 205. I hit two pretty poor ones, two pretty decent ones, and one pretty average one. I'm going to say the average was 195. Really? OK. Well, you'll be pleased to hear then. The carry distance on average was 211.9. Get out of here. And the total distance was 221.8 on average. The one you smoked with a 149 smash was 234 yards. Get out of here. Drew, we might have to talk about a price. This might be, uh, <laughs> we might have to do some negotiating. That was, I, I'm, 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 this is interesting. So, and I want to bring up this map because you didn't quite catch all of them clean, right? That's for certain. So that's where you're going to see the big differences with both clubs. So yep. you have, you know, three and carry distance that are right 220, 220, and uh, right around 220. And then you have two that are right around 200, the ones yep. that you really missed. So yeah. um, that's the big difference now with, Kind of an older club and then something today where the, the if you miss hit it not going to perform as well as you saw there but um i mean i'm actually kind of impressed with how I far that thing went very impressed drew your grandpa knew what he was doing <laughs> yeah he did um all right i'm going to give it a whirl now and uh see if i can top you let's do it man god that's that's weird i felt like hit that off the heel kind of I quite literally felt the club turn. Yeah. When I hit it. No, the feel is like yeah. I it, it's one thing where it, like you kind of feel it maybe like jolt a little bit, but I felt like I it, it, as I hit it. Yeah. The club face just opened wide out, wide open cuz I hit off the heel again. See, I'm this is interesting cuz you 
hit the ball so high with this club. I, I've been hitting these low little fades. Yeah. That's interesting. That one was a little higher. There's out to the right. All right, you early thoughts. Goodness gracious. Um, I, I was, I mean, I'm not shocked because it's an old club, but like real, actually when I hit the ball and I missed it on the heel just a little bit, it would, I could feel it and it would literally twist in my hand and I yeah. was, it was opening way up, which old club. It's the heel toe balance, Drew. The, well, yeah, the heel toe balance I feel like has improved a little bit since <laughs> yeah. whenever this was made. But, Definitely. Um, but no, it was just, it felt like, I, I'm, I'm curious to know the distance numbers because it, it felt like I could hit the same distances with like a seven iron, you know, when I was watching mm -hmm. that, but maybe I'm wrong, so. Okay, Drew, if you had to guess based on those five shots, your carry and your total. Carry, guess? on average, mm, I'm gonna go with like one, 180, and then I'm gonna go total about 200. Drew, you're gonna be pleasantly surprised. Your average carry was 201.5, and your average total was 212.9. Okay. So you are getting about 20 more yards out of it than you thought you okay. did. Okay. So. so I gotta say, if I need like a 20 yard cut, that goes about 210. Definitely. Just take the six iron out of the bag and I'll put this guy in there and I'll be good. I just flow smoothly through my iron set, right? I think it's a natural fit. But I, this is, uh, it's interesting because I, I, I would like to know more of the details behind the text. There's like these bolts back here. Mm -hmm. I don't know how clubs were built, you know, back f decades and decades ago, but I would love to pick the brain of a golf club engineer from back in the day to Definitely. see how a ping I2 from who knows when persimmon wood if how they you know this whole heel toe balancing actually worked it definitely feels closer to a, a bobby jones era brassy than a ping g425 yeah. that's yeah that's for, for sure. sure for sure well i will say for my own sake in terms of competitive golf and men's league and everything like that i'm going to keep my uh, g425 mm -hmm. fairy wood in the bag Fair and i'm going to kind of probably not to put this one in the bag but um this was interesting because i actually am pleasantly surprised based on the feel of my shots how far it went and i think you are too absolutely it's it was 15 yards farther than I thought it would be. Yeah, interesting. Well, golfers, you saw us hit a five wood, ping I2, probably not as far as we would hit something modern, I would say, probably losing 20, 30 yards there. But um, interesting here, I, I was very impressed. And actually, if you go into the selection at Second Swing, go to maybe our clearance racks at our stores, you might just find yourself a persimmon wood to try out for yourself. So I would encourage you to do that. But Michael, thanks for joining today and uh, helping me out and uh, hitting the shots. This was kind of interesting. Happy to help.